All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in less than 12 hours from now, a new Rising Dragon Carnival Double Rates banner will be dropping on the global side of the game. So in this video, I want to give you guys some info to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to uh, summon on this banner. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And before we dive deep into the banner, let's uh, actually pop over to the uh, official Dokkan Twitter page and watch the animations for the two new units, the AGL Margarita and also the Tech Kawei. So uh, here we go. Enjoy. Oh, there's no sound. One sec. Okay, so the issue should be resolved now. So uh, let's try this again. Take two. And there you have it, the animations for Margarita and Koei. Uh, nothing really too special, clearly not on the same level as the animations for Dokkan Fest units or LRs, but I think they look fine. So let's move on from there to the Double Rates banner now, which uh, will most likely look something like this with the Margarita and Koei as well as a bunch of other Peppy Gauss units like the uh, Fizz Launch, the Int Rebrienne, the Int Oceanus Shenron, 18 Videl, Han, who's not a Peppy Gal, but she's there, as well as the AGL Mai and uh, Fizz uh, Bulma. So in total, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 featured units. And uh, of course, double rates, which means that it's a 10% chance to pull a featured unit, a featured SSR that is, and a 10% chance to pull an unfeatured SSR. And that second part is very important because the main reason most people like to summon on these double rates banners is because you have technically double the chance to pull those unfeatured LRs, and there should be every single non Dokkan Fest LR in the game right now available on this banner, so your chances of pulling an LR when you summon on this banner is, uh, I'm not gonna say super high, but definitely a lot higher than your average legendary summon banner. Now, let's focus on the featured SSRs for a second and see if they're actually worth going for. So in terms of the new characters, the Margarita and the Kawei, uh, they're both good units. I would say they're on the same level as like a new side unit on a Dokkan Fest banner, but they're definitely not on the same level as a Dokkan Fest unit, obviously, or a non Dokkan Fest LR. So when you're comparing these to like the most recent non Dokkan Fest LR on global, which would be the LR Godku and Hit, they're obviously not going to be nearly as powerful as that, right? So in that sense, this banner is not really as hype as it could be because it doesn't have a new featured LR. And for the other SSRs, I mean, there's actually quite a few good ones, like the Intu Rian is still solid for Peppy Gals, the uh, Fizz Launch is really good, so is Oceanus Shenron, and these five are all getting Extreme Z Awakenings, the 18, the Videl, the uh, Pan, the Mai, and the Bulma, all five getting Extreme Z Awakenings as soon as this banner drops, so the featured pool, I would say, is actually very good for a Legendary Summon slash Rising Dragon Carnival. But even with that said, I mean, these are some very old units, especially the 5 Extreme Z Awakenings. They're available pretty much on every banner. And there's also usually various ways to get most of these units through some kind of exchange item in the Baba Shop, like the Thank You gift cards, and so on and so forth. So. If you think about it like that, even if you don't have some of these units, it's not really that mandatory for you to go into this banner to get them, right? So uh, yeah, featured pool, like I said, is good, but not really that rare in terms of the individual units. And uh, taking a look at the unfeatured pool, like I said, there are all of the non-Dokkan Fest LRs, 
and your chances of pulling them are definitely going to be higher than an average legendary summon, but you still have to manage your expectations. You could easily go into this banner and spend like 300 to 500 stones and not pull a single LR. So it's still definitely a risk. It's still only something that I would recommend to people who have a lot of excess stones or are pay to play players, are whales, because those are the people who could really benefit or I guess not really benefit, but can afford to chase for LRs like this. If you are a free to play player, if you are someone that doesn't spend a lot of money on this game, then it's definitely a banner that I think you could easily skip. Like you should not feel bad at all about just not even looking at this banner, not even thinking about it. Just let it pass and uh, wait for the next Okan Fest banner or the next World's Okan Fest, or at least a double rates banner that has a exciting featured LR, right? So uh, yeah, my feelings on this banner, man, are not really too positive. I think it's just kind of a trap in a sense because the value for your stones here is not very good. Of course, you could get very lucky and pull a ton of LRs. It can happen to anybody, but more likely than not, you're not going to pull LRs or you're going to pull an LR you don't want and uh, it's just going to end up being a waste of stones. So my recommendation to 90% of the player base, so most of you guys watching right now who are free to play, is to uh, skip this banner. Don't touch it. It's not worth your stones. Kawei and Margarita will probably come to you in another banner just as a random unfeatured unit. And uh, all of these units are obtainable in other ways. They're readily available, so there's no need to go into this banner. And as far as chasing LRs go, like I said, either wait for a double rates banner with a featured LR or multiple featured LRs, or wait for the uh, monotype only banners to come back, like the tech only banner, the AGL only banner, int only banner, and so on and so forth, because the rates for you to pull a specific type of LR, like for example, if you really need tech LRs, or you really need int LRs, or you really need STR LRs, the rates for those LRs on those banners are much higher. And on top of that, you also have the chance to pull the uh, mono supports, like the STR Kaba, the um, AGL Pan, the int Gohan, and so on and so forth. So I would definitely not recommend most people to touch this banner at all. And for once, I'm gonna take my own advice and uh, you will not see a summoning video for this banner on my channel because I just feel like it's a big waste of stones even for me and uh, it's just not worth it. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, this banner, when you summon on it, gives you blue coins instead of the gold coins from legendary summons which means that you can't even use the coins to buy a non token Fest LR that you want, like an LR Jiren or something like that. So the blue coins at the moment are probably the least valuable because all you can really buy with them are Kai's, right? In the future, if they add the Heroes unit or the Fusions unit or even the uh, monotype supports, then the value of these coins will increase significantly. But right now, they're really not worth much, so that's a, another uh, knock against the banner, right? So uh, those are my thoughts about this upcoming Rising Dragon Carnival. If you guys do plan to summon, that's totally your call, but I don't recommend it. And before we get out of here, for those of you that don't know what the uh, Margarita and the Koei do, let's quickly talk about it, okay? So... Starting with the Margarita, her leader skill is Universe, 11 category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack supreme damage and lowers attack and seals super attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 110%, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 11%, with each attack performed up to 44%, Universe 11, Category Allies, K plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 40%, Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Allies, Attack and Defense plus 20%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's another Universe 11, Category Ally, attacking in the same turn. Links are Innocence, Brainiacs, 
uh, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master and Disciple, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors. And uh, moving on to the Kawei now. Leader skill is Peppy Gals category, K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. Then passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 140%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack. High chance of stunning the attacked enemy, medium chance of key plus 2, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Attacks effective against all types when performing a super attack if the target enemy is in attack down status or the target enemy super attack is sealed and performs a critical hit when performing a super attack if the target enemy is stunned. And links are the Innocent, Flea, Coward, uh, Infighter, Battlefield Diva, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. And her categories are Peppy Gals and Universe survival saga so as i said both of these units are quite good they are about the same level as like a new side unit on a dokkan fest banner which is not a bad thing at all but they're not going to be nearly as oppressive as a new dokkan fest unit or a new lr so don't expect that kind of performance and uh that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys uh, were able to make a decision about what to do with your stones as far as this banner is concerned when it comes out. And uh, I hope that most of you guys do decide to save those stones. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.